Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Fanindra from SQL School. Over 14 years of technical expertise, completely on SQL Server and BI technologies. I assure you complete practical and training approach, complete practical and training sessions. Yes, in this short session today, let's understand about what is SSAS, the analysis services, and how to go about it. Let's start now. And this SSAS is one of the component inside MSBI, Microsoft Business Intelligence. Well, you may plan for the entire MSBI course or only one particular module, this particular module, SSAS. Either of these. And in this SSAS, we have total of 12 classes. The sessions would be completely practical with entire information right from multi-dimensional mode to tabular mode, the step-by-step -step approach, completely practical environment, including mode comparisons, like when to use which mode and when not to use which mode, including the project environment as well. We will be taking a real-world project requirement, including the solution in the class. Well, let's understand what exactly SSAS is. SQL Server Analysis Services is an individual independent component in MSPI is available as a standalone installation and it has its own storage. Yes, from SQL Server 6.5 version, means back in, in the year 1996. From there, we have since then we have this SSAS an individual independent storage component that also supports data modeling and reporting options. So what's the purpose of, what is the purpose of SSAS? Yes, SSAS component is used to read and understand any type of data and perform ETL activities extraction, transformation, loading activities. An SSAS component can be used to design databases for analytics and forecasts. We call them OLAP databases called Online Analytical Processing Database. So SSAS component can be used to design databases for end user reports. We call them as analytical reports. We have other types of reports like interactive reports from Power BI, paginated reports from Power BI and SSRS, mobile reports from Power BI and SSRS. Yes, the main difference between reporting services and Power BI Power BI is into interactive reports, live reports, whereas SSRS is into old traditional reporting style, paginated scheduled reports. This is a separate topic altogether with a good amount of examples. For now, let's stay tuned with SSAS analysis services, a component used to read data from any type of source to read the data from any type of source and once you read what next yes we read the data from multiple data sources and design something called OLAP databases red box over here we have two different flavors of SSAS 
one is multidimensional and other one tabular mode in our next class we shall be configuring this lab work i am just giving it to you right now just have a glance like what exactly it is now who are the end users for this ssas component well here it is friends for analysis services back to my screen back to my screen for analysis services we have report designers as end users data analysts and data scientists they can be end users for the, our ssas sql server and ss services component and databases olap databases now there are different implementation modes in ssas we have multi dimensional mode meaning unique column values will be stored for example my gender and your gender are same then our gender value is stored only once what does it mean yes let me show you a small example and i assume you are aware of sql server basics so let me take let me take yes sql server basics are required to start our course basics of sql server should be fine and i assume you are aware of sql server so let me launch my ssms tool and connect to the server let me give you a small brief idea on what is multi dimensional mode let me show you so for this purpose let's connect to the server and i'll take one database here a table called a table called customer data table and friends what is my example earlier theoretical example your gender my gender are same here it is there are 1000 plus customers but their genders are almost similar either m or s marital status gender male or female married or single and male or female here rather than storing these gender values repeatedly multiple times with the same data okay so rather than storing m for example where where gender equal to m now you see here about 482 rows means 482 customers data gender column data is same so rather than repeating this value m for 482 times why don't we store only once well that is the concept of multi dimensional mode unique column value storage other one we have the row level storage normal regular excel or any other type of tabular data or table format data row level storage and do not worry about the repeated storage of same information that is the concept of tabular mode in our course we shall be understanding both multi dimensional tabular we shall be focusing more on tabular mode because nowadays it's more into in memory and power bi azure bi these trending technologies are supporting 
tabular mode mostly. For example, Azure BI, Azure Analysis Services supports only tabular mode. It does not support multidimensional. Yes, Microsoft has its own reasons, own reasons to boost up the usage of tabular mode and its relevant languages like MDX and DAX. The main difference between multidimensional and tabular mode. The main difference here on the screen. Multidimensional mode OLAP databases can extract data from any type of database as a source. Whereas, whereas tabular mode will make use of not only database data but even non-database data can be sourced. Multidimensional mode, any database. Tabular mode, any database, even any non-database data also like HTML, websites, reports, Excel, CSV, any type of source can be used for designing this OL AP databases. Well, with this information, with this information, just to summarize the things in an easier way, you have the differences on the screen here. Multidimensional mode, tabular mode. Multidimensional source data for OLAP database design, database, tabular mode, Source data can be anything, text, PDF, Excel, database, anything. Here we use MDX, multidimensional expression language for design and tabular DAX for design. DAX means data analysis expression language. Both languages can be used for access. Supports data mining, multidimensional. And tabular does not support data mining. Multidimensional support forecasts. Tabular does not support forecast. So no mining, no forecast in tabular. But, but. It supports any type of source. It supports any type of data as a source for OLAP. Right from a text file to WordPress, HTML, social, anything. And multi-dimensional mode support four languages. MDX, DAX, XML, DMX. We'll take them slowly with examples, user interface. Though they say languages, it's more into user interface. Tabular and power pivot modes, they are more into MDX, DAX, XMLA plus additionally something called power query. With this information, here are the languages. MDX, multidimensional expression language for end user analysis. For any mode, any mode means both multidimensional and tabular, and also for OLAP cube security in multidimensional DAX, same as MDX data expression language for end user analysis in any mode plus OLAP security in tabular mode, data mining expression language. For data mining and forecast, big data analysis, mining and forecast operations, XMLA, for structural modifications on any database, like for example, structural modifications like adding new tables, new entities into the OLAP database and cubes, we require this information. And finally, Power Query. 
for tabular mode cube design and it is introduced from SSAS 2017 and higher versions. So this would be the actual lab plan for our course. Well, with this information, with this information, now comes the prerequisites. I kindly request you to revise the SQL basics, the prerequisites, prerequisites. Yes, please install SQL Server 2017 or 2016 or higher from our website or from Microsoft website, it's up to you, but make sure you get it installed. Well, next. Also revise SQL Server Basics, TSQL Basics, Joins, and of course Constraints, very much required for normal forms and joins for data modeling you require joins and that should be fine it should be fine say joins inner join outer joins etc and if in case we are able to do these prerequisites then we are ready to start our actual msba ssas course the complete step-by-step -step approach right from the introduction to basic cube design to advanced modeling techniques DAX, MDX, everything with a real world project we'll be taking it in our course so we shall look forward for your registration and please kindly contact us in case of any doubts or clarifications and we are glad to help you. Make sure you get all the things downloaded for SQL Server. Make sure you install them for SQL Server. Then we are good to start our actual course. Thank you.